Hi guys! Okay, it's haul time! Get prepared, get ready. I'm about to hit you with a bunch of random stuff that I've hauled. All, well, mostly beauty. A tiny bit of clothing from Target. So I've got Clarins, I have Bath and Body Works, just a couple things. I have some new brushes from Sigma. I have a few things from Target and then I have quite a bit of things from Ulta. So um, just picking up random little bits and pieces that my heart said I needed. Over the past few weeks, I've been saving some of them to haul. I've not been saving some of them to haul. A few of them I've been using already because I was really anxious to get my fingers into them. Um, but I'm going to get right to it. You guys know how much I love my Clarins skincare. Obsessed. I love it. Clarins is amazing. It's definitely the skincare line that I have devoted myself to. I do sprinkle in other brands here and there, but there's no harm in that. I do think that your skin can get used to one particular brand or product and that sometimes you need to surprise it or shock it a little and try something new or use something different. But um, Clarins is pretty much my go-to. I'm sticking with them for a while. I'm not going to leave them anytime soon. I picked up some stuff from the Nordstrom counter at Clarence after my birthday. I had some money to spend and I figured what better thing to spend my birthday money on than skincare because I'm a little bit crazy about it. Um, this is a splurge item for sure. I didn't know when I would pick it up, when I would have to pay my own money for it. So since I had birthday money, um, I figured I might as well let it happen. It's the Clarence Double Serum. You guys, please tell me you're using a serum. Serums changed my life. I'm being, I'm being dramatic. But yeah, they literally, I think last year in November, I bought my first serum. It was Clarence Hydra Quench. It is a great serum. I've used it. It's got just a tiny, tiny little bit left, but I found that it was a bit much for me in the summer. I really don't need that much. It's very, very um, hydrating, and my skin in the summer isn't as dry as it is in the winter. Plus, I had just heard such phenomenal things. I mean, this thing is an award winner. It's gotten so many awards. I just heard great things about it. It's $85, which is why I'm saying I probably wouldn't have bought it if I didn't have birthday money to spend. It is a lot, but um, let me just tell you a little bit about it. It is a complete age control concentrate. It says more than it's just a simple serum. Devil Serum is the only anti-aging treatment with 20 plant extracts to stimulate all of the skin's vital functions and prolong its youthful appearance. Who doesn't love that? The unique two-phase formula stimulates skin to firm and reduce the look of fine lines. Check. To restore a radiant, more even complexion, check. And for less visible pores, hello, hello. It's awesome, I love it. Um, it says that it is based on 27 years of anti-aging expertise. Double Serum combines the most powerful water-soluble, hydric and oil-soluble lipidic. I hope I'm saying that right. Age control ingredients to deliver results which can only be achieved by double serum. So you apply this morning and or evening before your regular moisturizer. Dispense two pumps of serum into the palm of the hand and mix well. And I've already been using this and I'm, I'm in love with it. I don't know how it wasn't in my life already. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I mean, it's pretty packaging too. I really like it. Um, it isn't... It isn't glass, it is plastic, but still, it's very pretty. And it just has a little pump dispenser there. The two chambers here, when you pump them, uh, dispense into your hand and you mix the product together. And then the Clarins way of applying serum is to simply press it into your skin. So you just do this, press it in. You use less product that way and it absorbs into your skin faster. Um, amazing. I have loved the way that my skin has felt after using it, the way that it's been looking lately. Just, it almost feels more supple. Supple's a weird word. But yeah. Um, I really love it. It is a splurge. It may not be something everybody would go out and spend $85 on, but if you're not using a Clarins serum, make sure you're just using some sort of serum. So your skincare routine should be your cleanser, your toner, a serum, and then a moisturizer. And you should also somewhere in there mix in some mask too. But you don't need to do a mask every single night. You can if you want to. But once or twice a week, a mask. 
Also, once or twice a week in there, you want to mix in an exfoliator. So I would do like cleanser, exfoliate, toner, serum, moisturizer. The key steps to skincare. I really love skincare. I'm very, very um, passionate about it, yeah. But not as passionate as Tammy at Uppies Beads. She is the skincare guru. I have learned so much from her lately. I've been obsessed with her channel. I was late to the train on discovering it. Don't know how I was sleeping on that. Um, but crazy Miss Tammy, she's phenomenal. Um, I've just, seriously, she's like my new skincare god. I love her. Um, another Clarins product that I picked up is this One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser with Orange Extract. It is for all skin types. I've had this before. I just wanted to pick up another one because I'd had some samples and stuff and I was kind of like coming to the end of those and I figured I'd go ahead and repurchase this. It is a tried and true, very, very good exfoliator. Um, you, it is gentle enough that you can use it every day. I use mine like every other day, but it's totally up to you. Um, speaking of Tammy and the things that she has taught me about skincare lately, the lady has me obsessed with masking. Um, between her and Michelle at Makeup MLC, I'm, I'm like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm like. I'm really, really in love with the idea of mask. This is the Pure and Radiant Mask with Pink Clay from Clarence. And I really like the idea of this because the lady at the Clarence counter, um, her name is Alyssa. If you guys shop at all at the Richmond Nordstrom, go to the Clarence counter there and ask for Alyssa. She's amazing. Um, I like the idea of this because I've been telling her that over the past couple of months, I've been seeing some redness, a little bit of more red undertones in my skin. And this is supposed to be really good for kind of just like calming your skin and really just putting it in check. It says that it promises a fresh, radiant complexion for combination and oily skin. In just five to 10 minutes, this mask helps purify skin for a perfectly matte appearance. The non-drying texture rinses off easily and is even suitable for sensitive skin. So that's great for you guys that are sensitive. Um, fresh and pure, pink clay and alpine willow herb purify tighten pores and refined skin texture. It produces an amazing matte result. Natural tan tanaka, tanaka? Tanaka. I like Tanaka. Powders help revive a dull complexion so skin looks fresh and radiant and it softens, smooths and soothes with linden extract. I really love it. Um, it goes on just white but you leave it on for five or ten minutes. Uh, scare your neighbors, scare your dog, scare your husband, whomever you want to go scare. Um, it's fun. I don't know. I kind of like it. And um, then Simply just take like a warm washcloth and wipe it off, at least that's what I do, and your skin's going to feel amazing. So, I approve. Two things that I got as free gifts with purchase, they had um, kind of like six products that you could pick. These are considered deluxe size samples. I mean, really people, these are, these are amazing deluxe size samples. This is one reason why I love Clarins. Um, I chose these two. This is the toning lotion with chamomile, which is what I use every day. So I go through these rather quickly and I figured why not have that on hand. And then this is something new to try. This was an exfoliating body scrub for smooth skin with bamboo powders. It softens, smooths, and firms. I just like the idea of having a scrub in the shower that may be like a little bit better for me than a typical like Bath and Body Works scrub or something. It says to exfoliate once or twice a week by applying onto dry or damp skin. I do damp. I do it in the shower. Rub gently over all parts of the body, concentrating on the elbows, knees, and heels. Rinse well with warm water. Regular exfoliation helps enhance the effectiveness of body treatments applied afterwards. So, after this, apply a good moisturizer and your skin's going to love you. Um, that is it for Clarins. So now I'm going to just show you a couple things I got at Bath & Body Works. Not a lot, just really, literally like a couple. Um, this is a new pack of Wallflowers and Island Colada. I wish I had discovered this like earlier on in the spring or the summer. It says they're limited editions. I don't even know if they're going to come back out next year. Oh my gosh. I got this candle and the candle was one of my favorites I had ever, I'd ever lit from Bath and Body Works. Smells amazing. Wanted to try to take me away to somewhere tropical and I was going to let it. Um, I got one of these packs to like an individual, just not a two pack, but just an individual one of these. And I put it in my half bathroom and we keep that door shut because Ruger likes to go in there and grab the end of the toilet paper roll and pull it through the house if you're not watching him. 
true. He does. Um, and every time I go in and I open that bathroom door to go in there, the smell of that Island Colada wallflower just hits me and I, it's just amazing. So I got these in a two pack. I figured it's not too late in the summer to still enjoy a little bit of Island. And then I got two candles. These were 50% um, off. So basically, even though the two for 22 sale wasn't going on, that's what I got these for. They are Lakeside, which... I think Jamie has had this and she really liked it. Mm -hmm. It smells good. It says that it is, well, it says jump into invigorating blend of fresh water, sheer musk, and the perfect pop of citrus. Very nice, very light and clean scented. And then I also got Boathouse Row, which smells like a man. It says the fragrance of deep blue water surrounded by notes of moss, sage, and bay leaves captures the essence of a lakeside adventure. Yeah, it smells like, mmm, mmm, yeah. Chris needs that in a cologne or something. It smells really good. Um, and then, let's see, I'm going to move right on to Sigma. We are Sigma affiliates, um, as a lot of people are. But uh, they did something that was a first, and Jamie and I jumped at the opportunity. They actually offered their affiliates. This was earlier on in the month of July. They offered us 30% off. And we knew that we had to take them up on that offer. That's not something that they do very often, but maybe they will sooner um, rather than later. It is kind of a nice thing to offer your affiliate since we're constantly talking about their brand. Um, so we both picked up some brushes. And I haven't even washed mine yet. I haven't used them at all. So I figured I'd go ahead and show them. I think Jamie has already been playing with hers. So the first one that I got is nothing exciting. It's a little E21 and it's a smudge brush. You can just see it's just short, densely packed bristles. Perfect for smudging out your eyeliner um, on your upper lower lash line. I have a small one of these from that's a Sephora brand one. So I figured I'd add a Sigma one to my collection. Plus that one's always constantly dirty and this way I'll have two. I can keep them both in rotation. Um, this is one of the things I'm most excited about. It is the F84 Angled Kabuki. And this is for foundation, your BB creams. Um, you can obviously with BB creams and things like that, you can use your fingers, but I kind of like the idea of having a brush. Um, I've never used a brush to apply that, but I'm excited to give it a whirl. And it just, it feels so good. I'm really excited about this one. And I kind of watched um, Makeup by Tiffany D's videos like over and over and over again um, just to see if I could pick up on what some of her favorite Sigma brushes were since she is Sigma Beauty. And um, the F84 was one that I feel like she talked about a lot so I figured that was a good choice to go with. And then I got this P86 Precision Tapered, and this is for your under eye. So for like your concealers um, underneath of your eye. It is very densely packed as well. Jamie has been using this for her concealer under her eyes, and she said that it is a miracle brush. She loves it, and she doesn't know how we didn't have it sooner. So I'm really excited about giving this a try too. And then the last one, is a P82 Precision Round Brush, and I got this to use with cream eyeshadows. I've been using cream eyeshadows a lot this summer. I've really liked the, even the, the uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo and Barely Branded. That has become like one of my favorite bases to use. And then I got a Bobbi Brown um, cream shadow that I've been using a ton. Plus Benefit has a couple out that I, I've had for a long time. Um, I've just been reaching for them more, so I figured I needed a brush for that. And this one looked like it would do the job. So I'm really excited. Now that I have hauled them officially, I need to wash them and get the going on using them. So I'll report back. I think Jamie and I are going to do a video soon, um, as requested by one of you, that we talk about what our favorite makeup brushes are and what we use them for. Uh, the ones that we really just reach for every day. And maybe we'll even talk about a few that we have purchased, but we don't find ourselves reaching for for one reason or another. Okay. Target. Gotta keep myself focused. A couple of things that I picked up in there recently. Um, I'm excited about these. Okay, seriously talking about Tammy from Uppy Speeds and for... Um, 
Michelle at Makeup MLC. They inspired Jamie and I to go out and get some of this mask bar by Look Beauty Mask. I got the anti-blemish mud mask because sometimes blemishes pop up and I figured I needed to have something to treat my skin on when that happens on those occasions. And this says that it soothes irritated skin and bumps while helping control excess oil. Non-drying formulation purifies and balances the complexion, leaving skin feeling calm and looking clearer. It says that it contains tea tree, kaolin, and vitamin A, and it comes with four. So I'm really excited to give these a try. And then the other one is a pore refining cream mask. It says that it minimizes the appearance of pores for a more refined and even complexion. This gentle blend of coenzyme Q10 and antioxidants leaves your skin feeling balanced and looking more radiant. And it contains raspberry extract, lemon fruit extract, and vitamin E. So, yes, my neighbors are going to see me walking around with these crazy masks on my face. And they're probably... I just dropped something. Um, they're probably going to worry about me, but that's okay. I don't worry about me. I know I'm just taking care of my skin. Um, and then this was a deal that I couldn't pass up. I've been eyeing these wedges for a while, and then I think that Vanessa at the Bombshell Suite picked these up. She Instagrammed a picture of her wearing, I believe, these exact same ones, and she was kind of like getting people's opinion, and I was like, yes, you should do that. Um, these wedges from Target, how cute are they? They're, by, they're the Mossman awesome brand, and they're called the Wenda. Wenda, that's really cute. Um, they're in the cognac shade. I wear seven and a half. It is a really big platform, but I'm hoping they'll be comfortable. And I like that it has a little bit of snake print detail too. These were on clearance for $8.98. So I was like, yeah, it's time for them to come home with me. I had worn them around the store one day and then just decided, no, I'm not going to spend like, you know, the $29, $30, whatever they were. But now that they're on sale, I was like, yeah, please. And then I got this cute little leopard top because everybody needs leopard in their life. This is a Marona brand, little short sleeve, kind of like shell, like a, a short sleeve shell. I really like it. It's going to be perfect under blazers even in the fall. And you can dress this up with like black dress pants for work or wear it with jeans for a sassy night out. I don't know why I had to bob my hair like that. I was like, I've been here in a bun. So... I feel like I've been wearing my hair in a bun all summer, but that's just what's come easy. Having a puppy does not leave you time to straighten your hair every day. But, okay. That was it from Target. Right? Not a lot. Okay, Ulta. Kind of a lot. I got two more packs of the 50 Premium Oval Cotton Round. Cotton Pads. <laughs> I talked about these in my July Favorites that would have gone up a few days ago. I love these. They're amazing. I use these with my toner every morning and every night, and they feel like butter. I love them. So definitely check them out. Keyword, premium. You have to get the premium. They're like really good quality. So high five at your Ulta. And then I found something that I had been looking for for so long. I can't believe I finally found this again. This is the John Frieda Full Repair Flyaway Tamer Smoothing Wand. It looks like a mascara wand, but you use it on your part. See how that girl is right there? You use it on your part just to um, tame away the little hairs that want to stand up and wave at everyone. I have that because I straighten my hair, so when I'm getting down to my root to, to straighten out the curl, uh, those hairs like tend to want to just be like straight up like antenna. So John Frieda created this miracle wand. I haven't seen any other brand come out with anything like this, but for probably the past nine months, maybe even a year, I've not found this in a store anywhere, but the new Ulta that just opened by my house had two of them, and I was like, no way, you're kidding me. So, um, yeah, I had to get it. Um, okay, I'm such a sucker for one, packaging, and two, the name of this company. It is the Ginger & Company Bathing Beauty Moisture Blast Moisturizing Bubble Bath and Wash. What kind of ginger would I be if I didn't try this new Ginger & Company brand that they're selling at Ulta? I'd be a bad ginger. So I did the right thing and I picked out one product. I'm excited that this is a, a I don't need to take bubble baths. Jamie's our bubble bath girl, but I love body washes. And this one says that it has marshmallow leaf, blossom, honey, and lemon balm. 
it is a UK product. It reminds me of the old school kind of like Soap and Glory packaging. So I'm wondering if they're owned by the same people. I don't know. It says it's created and manufactured for hot house partnerships. I don't know if that's who Soap and Glory is made by or not. Or if they're just trying to steal my own Soap and Glory style. But Ginger and Company, I had to get it. And it smells really good. Yeah, I'm excited to start using this. I have not tried that yet. Um, this is something that, again, I'm, a, I'm really liking the NYX products. I talked about that in my July favorites. And I got this jumbo eye pencil and milk because everybody on YouTube and their brother has it, but I didn't. So they say that for building up colors that applying this white base, you can just see, and then kind of just blending it out with your finger really makes your other eyeshadow colors like pop. So I'm really interested in giving this a try and seeing what all the hype is about. Um, okay. I have so many things down in here. I'm just kind of like, what did I buy? All right, this is the Lorac Color Correcting Cream. So it's a CC cream. In, Jul in was it July's Birch? Yes, July's Birchbox, I got a sample of a Pure Minerals CC cream, and I have really liked it. Now, I've liked it a lot, but Pure Minerals isn't a brand that I've ever used before. Plus, theirs was like $38, maybe $34, or something like that. Whereas Lorox was, I think, $26 or $28. And I like the Lorox brand. I've used their products before. It says that this is good for sensitive skin, not that I have sensitive skin. Um, but I wanted a CC cream. I have really liked using that, that Pure Minerals sample that came in Birchbox. This says... Um, been what I have applied every day over my moisturizer and actually before my BB cream here's what I'm doing kind of sounds crazy to be using them both maybe maybe not I use the CC cream to take out all of my redness any like dark spots that I have from a blemish that may be healing I really like that it just kind of gives me an even base to then apply my BB cream which has more of a tint I got this in the shade light, which is what I figured I would be anyway, but I also just didn't want to get anything that had a lot of color. I haven't opened this yet. Let me see if I can get in this for y'all, and I will swatch it. Um, yeah, I really just have been happy with the way that the CC cream kind of just gives my skin um, a more flat complexion to start with, and then I use my BB cream for a little bit more color and tint and that's very buildable so I can use as much as I want and then I'll use like a bronzer and stuff on my cheek or and kind of for contouring um but yeah this is what the CC cream by Lorac looks like and there it is just kind of rubbed in a little bit but yeah I really am anxious to give this one a try I hope that I'm not disappointed by this now that I've used the pure minerals I kind of have like high expectations, but I can't imagine that Lorac is going to let me down. So, yeah. Um, I'm excited. I will definitely keep you updated on how that is going. And if you guys know, because I, while I love skincare, I'm not a licensed esthetician, nor am I a makeup artist. So, if you know whether I'm crazy for layering CC creams with BB creams, please leave it in a comment below and let me know nicely please thank you um and then speaking of more skincare i got these lumine vitamin c pure radiance beauty drops i talked about these and uh a polyvore board not talked about i showed them on a polyvore board that we did for fall beauty picks i've saw, i've seen these in a few magazines like allure and in style and self magazine and i wanted to give them a try i haven't been using any products that are like loaded with vitamin c and I figured that's something my skin's lacking. These are tiny little capsules that you break. And inside is the vitamin C. They're in these capsules because I know the vitamin C you do not want exposed to sunlight. So they are, it's well protected in here until you pop it open. And it says that, first of all, it comes with 28. So not quite a month's worth. This is an award winner. It's Beauty Choice. It's by New Beauty, that magazine. Uh, Beauty Choice product winner. It says that it's for all skin types. It's an instant beauty treatment, especially for tired, dull, and lifeless skin, visibly more vital and radiant. It, it says over a 28-day period, day period on your skin 
one capsule a day, remove the tip of the capsule and squeeze the content onto fingertips, apply the serum on cleansed face and neck before day or night cream. And avoid the sensitive area around your eyes. Um, again, I'm just a sucker for, for skincare. And I thought that these might be interesting to try. They've really been hyping it a lot in, like I said, magazine ads and stuff. So I will, again, I have lots of things to report back to you on. Oh my gosh, I'm not, this isn't, this isn't over yet. How, this might be the longest individual haul I've ever done. I got these little small samples of the Joyco K-Pack shampoo, conditioner, and a intense hydrator. Um, my hair gets a lot of heat damage, even though lately I haven't been styling it every day, so it's not getting any heat damage because uh, it's going in a bun. But I still like the idea of giving my hair extra moisture, um, hydrating it. And I've heard a lot of people say good things about the Joy K, Joyco K-Pack. Um, so I am giving that a go at some point. If I report back to you on that, don't be surprised if it is a little while because I have other products that I'm trying out right now too. Okay, I got four Zoya nail polishes. I think, don't like I always say, don't tell Essie because I don't want to hurt her feelings. But Zoya is my new favorite brand. And I think it's all because of the pixie dust. I am really, really obsessed with these pixie dust polishes. I have this lavender on one on today. And I'll, this is only one coat, so it's very, very light. Um, this is the shade called Stevie. Very pretty, right? And it has just the prettiest, like, sparkle to it. Um, the other one that I got, this one's really pretty for fall, is called Destiny. And it's a very vibrant orange. And then two more. Both of these are kind of more like shimmer colors. This is Erica, which is just a very pretty pale pink. And then this is a, a pink, like a bubblegum pink with a little bit of like silver marbling in it. And it's called Mickey. So I really like both of these. Zoya is going to maybe be the next nail polish collection video that I do. Because I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm getting a decent amount of them. Okay, and then last product. NYX again. Everything comes full circle. I'm back to talking about NYX. This is the Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. And I picked up picked up an extra one because I'm going to give one to Jamie. Um, yeah, I will have already given it to her before she sees this. Um, again, this is kind of like a more muted pink. A little bit of a mauve. So it's like a more grown-up pink. But I think that that one's going to be a very pretty color for fall. And I just love these butter glosses. Go get you some if you don't have some. Okay, longest random haul ever. I hope you guys are still watching. If you're still watching, please leave me a comment and tell me you watched the whole thing because that would be amazing. I appreciate y'all watching and staying tuned for all of our videos. We appreciate you all so much and love each and every one of you. So. Be on the lookout for more videos coming soon. We promise that Jamie and I are going to be back together filming some things this week, even if it's just in the car on our lunch break, because sometimes that's what you got to do. All right, guys, I will see you in our next video. Bye.